Hey guys, so it is day 20 and I need action today. Action. I am cleaning up the house today. I have clothes to wash. I have um, a dinner to cook. We have some friends and my in-laws coming over. We're going to have a fun game night tonight with a potluck. So it's going to be awesome, but I got a ton of stuff to do. Plus I'm like, I'm trying to rearrange some things in this room. I'm trying to create a better space for, um, all my art stuff. Cause honestly, right now I am doing my paintings and stuff like that in my kitchen. So if I'm in the middle of a project, I have to like push everything off to the side and it creates like this like chaos and I don't like that. So anyway, so like that's kind of what I'm going to be doing this weekend. I'm trying to like rethink a couple of things and try to try to figure something out. You know what I mean? When you have like limited space and then like I work from home and then when Jacob does his jewelry, you know, that's all in here. Like, so it's like a lot in a little space. Like we have to create multiple spaces within our space to function because we are two people that work from home and live at home. <laughs> so, you know, at least it's not so bad because he's in school right now. So, um, he pre-made quite a bit of stuff and the, the jewelry that he does make right now is usually resin. Sorry. I have these track lights up here and sometimes they just, they just let go. Like not like fall let go, but like let go of their connection because like you have to like turn them to be connected. So sometimes they just turn off on me and I'm too short to reach. So I just have to wait. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. One of these days I'll be over these little coughs. So anyway, I, I have a lot of stuff I need to get done. So I need a lot of action in my life. So I chose today the Fountain Tarot. Can you see that? Nice. And surprise, surprise. I know I said this in my other video. Oh. But I broke... I broke my other tripod. Well, it's not a tripod. Okay, so um, I have a pop socket on the back of my phone. And so I made, well, Jacob made me, um, just this piece of wood. And then I put one of those pop socket things. And then I would sit my phone. And then I could put it, like, wherever. This thing has been everywhere. It used to be a stand um, for our jewelry. And it got, like all kind of dinged up and stuff because of all the traveling and stuff that we do and like putting it in and out of stuff so we were like oh it's old so I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna use it as this and I did and then I broke my pop socket <laughs> but to be fair that thing was old so I'm ordering me a new one so I'll be like shoved into into this let me see if you can see into my crystal space so I hope you could see that because I couldn't see what I was doing. We're just going to go strobe light. <clears throat> so yeah, so I have my fountain tarot. So I want some action today. So this is what do we need. Oh, moving forward today. You know, I would think maybe we'll do, what do we need to let go of? What do we need moving forward? And just some guidance for today. Let's do three cards. This one wants to come out right now. This bottom one wants to come out. And then this top one. That's just kind of how I gotta do some things. Oh, we got four that wanna come out. Ooh. I think these are just the vibes for today. Some high priestess vibes. <sighs> going with our gut feelings today, going with our intuition. That's usually a good guide in general when we're trying to like get stuff done. Um, 
Y'all, I'm so sorry. This is super distracting, right? Mm. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. It might make everything way too dark. Am I super dark? I think I'm okay. It's dark, but it's not undoable. So yeah, <clears throat> when we have a lot of stuff going on, it's really good to follow our intuition in general. Um, it's great to have a plan, yes, but like when you feel like you need to do something, it's good to do it. So I always love those High Priestess vibes anyway when I'm doing stuff. Okay, so what's leave behind? The Two of Swords. And in this deck, I feel like the Two of Swords really is about the struggle of that decision, like constantly second guessing ourselves because she's in turmoil with these decisions. She's in this water, it's emotional. So I think what we're leaving behind today is our flip-flopping. Make a decision and go with it, right? Again, keep that intuition with you, but do not beat yourself up over your decisions. Do not constantly second guess yourself. Feel it out and go with it. So we need to leave behind that indecision. <clears throat> okay, what do we need for today? We have the four of coins here and it's placed under this nice little tent. I think for the energy today, what it's telling us is to make sure that whatever we're doing is going to correspond with what we want in the long run. Like really put those future vibes into that decision when you make it. Um, I feel like we shouldn't be in the instance of me. Okay, so like I'm gonna be moving stuff around. Like I shouldn't be moving stuff around for today. Like what's gonna help me today? I need to focus on what's gonna help me in the long run, like putting things in order for the future. So what we need for today is to understand that what we're doing right now is going to affect the future and we shouldn't be doing band-aids. Does that make sense? Like we shouldn't be putting band-aids on things. Um, today when we are called to action, when we make those decisions, we stick to it and we make sure that it's not just a band-aid for today. We need to actually fix these things for the future. I really like that. I really like that because I'm like, well, I mean, it's going to work for now. You know, I do that a lot. <clears throat> I move stuff around a lot, if you haven't noticed. Um, I, I like the change. I like the art of rearranging and um, sifting through, getting rid of what I don't need, coming back. Like, if I could tackle this desk, y'all, and I think I might be able to. I think I might do that this weekend. I think I've convinced him. I'm like, you don't do a lot. Let's like save all the stuff that we don't do anymore. Let's keep just the resin stuff out. Let's get it clean. I I love the art of freshness, newness, organization. Um, but it doesn't always stay that way in a house with other people, right? Like, not that Jacob is messy. No, I'm usually the messy one, uh, if I'm being honest. Like, I like my stuff. Like, if I'm working on something, I want it to stay there. <laughs> And that annoys him. And I'm a big person um, that will like drink something. I'll have my cup and like I'll bring my cup around with me or I'll like set it down and then it'll stay there all day. It's a bad habit that I've had since I was really young. I constantly got in trouble for it. So now that I'm an adult, I can only, you know, blame myself. Like just pick your cup up and it's cups, like cups. I am the cup queen because I'm constantly drinking water. Or coffee like those are my two things it's either water or coffee some tea okay fair but <clears throat> it's a big thing for me and it annoys Jacob and I, I you know I'm like dude I'm sorry it's just what I do it's just me it's my life <laughs> I'm working on it I'm working on it that's like my big thing and like I said sometimes with my artwork I'm working on it I, I I have no place to do it. I have no designated space. So I have to like carve out a space and like sometimes it just leaves it feeling chaotic no matter how neatly I place my things. So 
I'm, I'm definitely going to be thinking about the future and how I can keep those things, right? <clears throat> And again, this could be completely different for you, but the same idea, right? So don't think you have to clean up your space or your artwork or your stuff, but just hold on to the general idea, right? So um, the guidance that we need moving forward is pretty potent, right? The Ten of Swords. And I feel like this is definitely about causing more distress for ourselves and that kind of flows with all this you know I feel like with this it, it's I want to say like sometimes we beat ourselves up we can't make a decision we can't do things that um that are going to work right now we don't have the the time or the money or the actual space to do what we feel like we need to do or accomplish what we need to accomplish and we allow that to beat us down you know like well then what am I gonna do I'm just gonna give up it doesn't matter you know nobody's helping I can't get this done you know like we start in this spiral and we're asking ourselves to do more than we can handle like we can't expect the world when we only have our space you know so we need to be kind to ourselves. We need to do what we can and find solutions that work within our means today. Because I know, I mean, best case scenario in my situation, get a little space, a little, um, they make these little sheds, right? They're super cute. Um, where you can put electricity and a little um, like AC unit, because it's hot in Louisiana, we can't do no without AC, but, um, and it's humid, oh, it would be a disaster. But you know, it would be perfect to have either Jacob's studio within that little space, or my studio within that little space, you know, just one out of the house, and you know, all set up, and we don't have to worry about it clogging up our living space with our workspace, but that's not an option right now. That is not where I can go today and right now. So I'm not going to frustrate myself and get bogged down with like, I just need that. Like nothing else is going to work but that. I don't know what else to do. That's what we're avoiding, right? We can't bog ourselves down with what we cannot accomplish today. That's a big one because sometimes I do get frustrated and I'm like, fuck it, this is what we need and I want it right now. I can't stand it up. And I do. I get I get that way. And then I'm like, I know we can't. So let's just figure something else out. Sometimes it just feels good to get it out. But we can't bog ourselves down with it, right? I know like I know there's a bunch of stuff that I can rearrange in the closet to kind of like maneuver some things in there. And then... Um, maybe put shelves on the wall, some different kinds of shelving because my budget will allow for a shelf. It won't allow for a whole building, electricity and AC. <laughs> shelves, shelves are gonna happen. And the one that I just showed you, um, Jacob and I built that little shelf out of some old pallet wood. It was totally free to do, it was really fun. But we're constantly doing little things like that. We're just crafty people. <laughs> That's kind of our thing. And he was a design, um, an interior design major. He graduated um, college in interior design. So it's all like, we're constantly like, what can we do? <laughs> and we, we love to, um, like again, the pallet wood, I have a shelf up here that's made out of pallet wood. We did our walls. Um, we did one in our bedroom and one in our bathroom, well, two in our bathroom, a little bit and a, a whole wall near my bathtub with old pallet wood. It was free. We cleaned it, we fixed it. Sorry, I just got a, a thing on my phone. Um, and we put that on a wall. It literally cost us labor. And that was us, Jacob, you know? We cut it, we cleaned it, we put it on the wall. Maybe some screws, maybe it cost us some screws, you know? So we're constantly rethinking in ways that we can upcycle or refinish or redo the things that we have 
um, to create something new and that we love and we're going one room at a time just giving each of them a little bit of love to get it exactly like we want it so <clears throat> in a way it's like a hobby of ours anyway but it does get frustrating because we moved from a bigger space into a smaller space when we moved back home because we weren't sure exactly where we wanted to go, what we wanted to do, where we wanted to be. We had family land here and then I have family land. And it's like we, we were just so up in the air, but we needed to get down here quickly. So we bought a mobile home um, because it was a great price. It was quick. And I mean, it was a brand new house, basically. And then we come in and then we redo all these little things um, to suit our family and our artistic needs, right? <laughs> because eventually we are going to, um, to do something different, do something a little bit bigger in a few years. But right now we just needed to get here and this was our best option because we didn't want something super permanent when we didn't know what we wanted to do. And sometimes we still don't. Sometimes it's like, oh, maybe we should move to Colorado or maybe we should um, go back to Texas or maybe we should stay here but move to a different town. Or, you know, I mean, we're constantly talking about things like that. But I think right now we're gonna kind of settle in to where we are until Lennon can get some school under her belt, like at least her elementary done. Um, which is like a kindergarten to what, sixth grade, maybe some middle school, seventh or eighth grade, and then kind of reevaluate. And um, and so we're trying to settle in and get things the way that we want them, the way that makes us happy in this space that we have right now. So um, we really enjoy it though. We make it our own and um, we really love it. So. Yeah, so we're constantly rearranging and doing all kinds of stuff and <sighs> it's a labor of love, but we came from a big space down to this smaller one. And so we are constantly reevaluating the things that we have, um, getting rid of the, the stuff that's been lingering for years. Now we've been here for a few years, um, but stuff still stays caught up in closets that we have to pull down and reevaluate, right? You know, so we're still doing that. So as we're doing it, we're having to constantly kind of shift things around. Like what are our priorities? Where do we want to go? But y'all are not interested in that. So anyway, <laughs> I could go on forever. Um, but yeah, that is our that is our little reading for today. This is a great reading. I love these cards. I love the muted. Like, look how beautiful they are together. Like, can we just look at these together? Look at how beautiful. The artist did such a great job. And I, this is such a masculine feeling deck. I love the the action here. I love the the whole vibe of this deck. And I avoided it for so long, but I really do love it. Like I can really connect with the images, even though some are like way modern, like this is such a modern vibe, which I don't always go towards, but it just works. So I hope that that helps somebody for today. I know it certainly got me thinking about a lot of stuff. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Much love. Bye.